Now let's go to NBC News correspondent Antonia Hilton. She is at Harvard University with more on this decision. Antonia, I know it's just been a little over an hour, but what's some of the reaction you're hearing from students there at Harvard? Hey, Joe, the vast majority of the students that I've spoken to of all backgrounds are reeling and they're not concerned for themselves so much as they are concerned right now about future generations, students who are going to be applying to the school in the future and trying to come join them here. Uh, this is a school that historically excluded many populations of people from women to virtually every kind of minority. And so there's been a long history of a fight here to increase access, not just to black communities, although certainly people talk about the black community at the front of the affirmative action uh, conversation, but also Latino communities, uh, lower income Asian American communities, Native Americans and Native Hawaiians, populations that still struggle at times to get access to these elite schools. And they're pointing to the UC system, the California State University system, uh, as the sort of basis often of their anxieties right now. When we saw over two decades ago, California do away with affirmative action, the result was that at their elite state schools, you saw about a 50% drop in enrollment of minorities of all kinds. And it has been incredibly difficult for administrators who tried to come up with program after program to ameliorate this to get themselves back to the diverse community they wanted to see there. I actually have a Harvard student here with me uh, who is reacting to this decision live. Thank you so much for making time here. Feel free to come in closer with me. I want to make sure everybody can see you here. So talk me through this. How are you feeling right now? What does this mean for you? Right. I mean, I was up with several students uh, ready to check SCOTUS blog, ready to check Twitter, anything that could give us updates on the situation. And as a community, you know, I am part of Fuerza Latina, the pan Latino, Latina and Latine organization on campus. And everyone um, in the group chat we have was reacting to it in real time. And this definitely had very, very, very impactful um, shock waves. Um, we responded to it immediately and I'm definitely still trying to process. You're still trying to process right now, to the best of your ability, what are your concerns or what what do you imagine this means for upcoming classes? What do you think Harvard is going to look like now in the future? Right. I mean, I, first of all, definitely think of my uh, little sibling, my 15 year old brother, um, my cousin who in the fall will go through the college application process. So for me, this has immediate impacts because specifically my nationality is Ecuadorian. I also come from the state of New Mexico, uh, both extremely underrepresented communities at Harvard specifically. Um, I am the only Ecuadorian student that I know of in my year at Harvard. The and only so Ecuadorian student in your year. Right. At Harvard. And so I think it's just like. I, I don't know. I, I hope I hope that this is an opportunity for Harvard to step up in its recruitment, to step up in other efforts, but um, I think it would also be wrong of me to say that I'm not scared. Do you have faith in administrators here that they're going to be able to find ways to still foster diversity, that there are going to be other programs, or perhaps they'll do away with legacy admissions to make more space for other kinds of students? I mean, I hope so. I think that Harvard obviously has an opportunity now that there is no national institutional support like affirmative action that they go about their own efforts to increase. And I really think that um, I'm going to go on here and say that I'm hopeful. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm so grateful for your time. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Joe, you know, administrators are preparing for this in the same way that students have. And they've had years of time because going back to the earliest stages of this case, people knew that it was going to wind its way up to the Supreme Court. So they're looking at all options on the table right now in the hopes of still having diverse and, and classes that are reflective of this country, frankly, Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.